just like, what the fuck you really mean? Alright, um, so basically, uh, I just sort of want to start off, like, do you mind sort of filling us in with, uh, like, filling us in with what's going on with you and Sauce right now? I know you guys are sort of, not separating, but, like, mm -hmm. trying to do your own projects. Um, I mean, right now, we're both, like, we're both, we've both grown up, like, so much. In the course, when you grow up, like, mentally, things change. Of course. So, musically, making music together, I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing, but just sometimes we have different ideas, but, but we get along with producing, so it's very easy for us to produce together. Like, we produce Watch Out. Of course. Together. One of my favorites. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, um, now basically, we just, we just, we just kind of, not split, we just kind of went our own direction, music, like music-wise, on our own music, and like what we're saying, like. You gotta you know establish I mean? your own ideas, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody has different, everybody has just different views of things, different motives, everything. So it's just like, you know, sometimes you just gotta release it all. Just release it all yourself and just let everybody know what's going on. But that's still my brother for life, you know. And so how long did you guys work together? I mean, I know the split I'm, sort of just happened, but... I know, I know, we've been brothers for 10 years, bro. Yeah. Almost 10 years, man. So, like, everything is, everything is wavy. We're always going to, we always support each other. Shit, we're probably going to have, most likely, I see there being a show, like, as of now, like, probably post headline and... and probably rich rich coming out opening and i'm opening you never know like like we're, we're still like we still have the atlantic influence so everything so everything's going to be relatable so we'll see how that goes all right, all right. It's, it's a surprise to me i'm just i'm just moving going with the flow, just going right? with the flow bro. <laughs> yo i don't know if y'all know i'm black diplo yeah yeah I, don't... <laughs> I didn't see that in any interview so now i know <laughs> oh yeah that, that just like that project is coming it, it, it is coming i've already talked to him i've talked to him a whole bunch of times he's like one of the coolest guys like i remember one time when i first met him he came to atlanta and performed in this little this, this small club called mjq i'm like yo diplo is performing in these clubs so i'm like yo man you just got to go out there and work like and he just does it for me. like because he loves music you know what i mean so that's just inspiration so, so is that where you, is that where you met him yeah, I first met him in Atlanta. He came to Atlanta, and I had just made the Travis Porter song, Make It Rain. Yeah. And he and he loved that song. He would always play it. I think he remixed it. And um, there's another DJ named Heroes and Villains. He he made... We love him. We know. We love him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Daniel really introduced us. And, like, the first day I met him, he talked... He was, like, showing me little secrets and little, like, DSTs and plugins and everything. I'm like, yo, this dude's cool as fuck. Man. I like this guy. <laughs> He's a humble guy. He loves music, so. Yeah. Um, so tell me about the. Uh, you said you're planning to release the, you know, the, your your new uh, your new what, what would you call it, album EP? Yeah, EP. 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 Um, so it's on Zuli the label, but through Mad Decent. Did yeah. I read that properly. So how, how does how does that work? I mean, Zuli the label. That's every anything I touch. It's gonna be Zuli. It's now Zuli the label. Okay. But so that's your label. But, yeah, but Mad Decent is the home. As so they're now. sort of backing you? Yeah, they're, gotcha. they're backing it up. Gotcha. Uh, so we're going to deviate a little bit. I'd like you to walk us through a typical day for you. <laughs> 2016 has been very, very different. Like, just just in what I do every day. So to let you, to, really, I'm always thinking about music. First and foremost, I don't know if anybody knows that. Everybody always thinks I'm just like high and like zoned out, but I'm really like I'm thinking of songs I'm arranging in the future. Like, damn, this is gonna be right here. It's gonna be right here. I should change that. I think about that shit all fucking day. People will be talking to me. I really won't hear them because like my brain is like stuck on that. It's like a it's bittersweet though. Like it's good and bad because <laughs> I'm never paying attention. I'm like always on it. But so no, so I mean I basically wake up, probably roll it back wood, um, take a dump, brush my teeth. Usually wake I usually wake up in the studio. I've heard that you like to sleep in the studios, or you did that initially. No, I still do still as do? much as much as possible. I actually sleep si back sitting good? down. How's horrible, back horrible <laughs> actually. My back feels horrible, bro. It's starting to all that studio sleep couch, and like I sleep on like. A lot of times I sleep on the like the the table, like the the the, <laughs> the fucking board, bro, and wake up and then start again. So 
Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all, and I'm not sounding cocky, bro. I, like, I deserve this shit in this time, man. I re- really put in a lot of hard work, and that shit is real. When you do hard work, you, you it get off, it. Right? Pays off, so. It pays off. So, basically, what I said, I woke up. I, I wake up, Back take a once. dump, backwood. At the same time, backwood yeah. in the dump. <laughs> At the same time, it's, that's where it's like meditation. Oh no, it's vital. It's Backward vital. in the dump is like meditation. Like you, you're alone. You get to think. Still planning out tracks in my head. And, so um, when you're thinking about tracks, are you thinking about beats? Or are you thinking about singing? Because I know you're or not singing. Everything. Rapping, everything. All right. Everything. My songs, other people's songs. Like I'm planning projects all day. Like cause me and Two Chains actually made a. We actually have a whole project. Two projects. We have an album done. In a whole project. Go ahead, back to the day. Back to the day. Back to the day. No lie, man. I'm in the studio all fucking day. And I just FaceTime other artists I'm a fan of and other artists I plan to work with and just strategize. Strategize life as, hard, as much as I can. Even though I'm the most unorganized person ever, I feel like I try to strategize all day. Like, that's what I'm saying. When I'm raising and making songs, that's all I do all day. I see, I see the shit. I see the end of the road, bro. I see the, I see the finish line. Yeah, it's so yeah. close. It's right there. So I just, got, I, I just got to keep running, bro. That's why I wake up in the studio every fucking day, most of the time. Because no, I, I gotta, I gotta say, get I think, it. I think you made it. I mean, yeah. you're, you're getting there, but yeah. it's. Big things are gonna happen. Like we want, said, we want, we want more, man. Oh, of course. Yeah, we, we want, want more, more, man. Um, all right, so. I know you always talk about your influences and stuff, so just give me a word, I'd say maybe your favorite, favorite producer, it can be hip hop, it can be anything, favorite producer right now. I would say Timbaland, George Clinton, All right. and Daft Punk. Favorite, favorite couple tracks, favorite hip hop track right now that you can make or you can produce? Oh, um. Everything Larry June is making, yeah, yeah, that's my homie out of the bay. We have a project. We we're working on a project too. That's another project I'm fucking strategizing in my head. But um, Larry, all his songs, Larry June, he got Jug, everything, bro. He's fired. He's fired. He's fired. Um, what else am I listening to? I mean, Drake's always fire. It's no fair. Have you worked? <laughs> have you worked with Drake yet? I know that. I know that was on your list. I haven't. I have not worked. With, I, I want to. I haven't. I haven't worked with Drake. Am I? No. That's who I would definitely want to. I know you're working on it. Get her. Diplo, out. Diplo's gonna make it. Happen. Gotta know. Tell me about how it was living with Travis, Sunny, uh, Metro. <laughs> what was that like? It was. It was an amazing experience, like living with all those guys, really, because. Me, Metro, and Sunny, we've always been working anyway in Atlanta. Like, all the producers in Atlanta always collab. Southside, TM. Doesn't matter. Every, everybody just always links up at one, every now and then at one studio and just be going back to different rooms, making beats with each other. Like, bro, I probably have, I probably have over 50 beats with Metro and Sunny. Just them two together, bro. They're just sitting on, just sitting on the computer, bro. Everybody's getting bigger and bigger now, so it's. I mean, the time is spaced out. But the craziest thing about that is just we're all we're all from Atlanta, so we have that same vibe, and we all know what we want to do and we wanted to and what we wanted to sound like. So there was no beef. Everything was like everything was so smooth. And all of us just making beats together, bro. Making beats for hours and hours, and of course partying too. It was in it was in the hills. So shit, it was. We were getting after it, bro. Like I definitely understand how antidote was made. <laughs> Not only because I was there, but it was like it's like the, it makes sense. Yeah, like the hills, sense. like it was just everything yeah, made sense. But everybody's amazing in their own in their own indiv- individual way. So with all of us together, even with Travis, he produces too. So even just with all of our brains together, of course, we're just gonna make some some amazing beautiful music man um so tell me sort of back to diplo i saw you are helping him and, and sonny or skrillex with the jackie album new jack oh album. yeah actually yeah we worked on worked on about three tracks the, the song one of the main songs we did is just like it has like a lot of island vibes to it so yeah Island vibes and ATL sound put together with Diplo and Sunny, so yeah, man. And then so on the Diplo and Friends mix, uh, it was November, I want to say. 
Um, obviously, you had a ton of tracks you guys produced, or you, know, you, you produce, or you and Sauce produced. Um, a little bit of electronic in there. I wanted to sort of get your take on electronic music. How do you, how do you feel about it? Do you just throw that in there just to sort of go with the vibe? Did it just fit? Do you like that shit? Oh, um, it, it really, yeah, it really just has to fit because I'm not a person, I don't like forcing, I don't like forcing things and I actually like simple, simple beats, like simple music. I feel like if, you can, you can never lose with simplicity, like if you just get four sounds right and they're like just, just perfect and they perfectly fit together and they match, you can't really go wrong. So I always try to go for simplicity, but with tracks, I always try to make it feel like it's rising. Like on my tracks, hip hop tracks always make it feel like they're rising, just like a roller coaster or like an EDM song. But when it drops, it's more minimal and you can feel it more, like more bass. But EDM, it's definitely changing too. It's definitely changing too. So, sort of just last couple questions. Who's been your favorite rapper, rappers that you ever worked with? Well, my favorite rappers are Jay Z and Gucci Man. I never worked with Jay Z. I still actually. Oh, I definitely work with Gucci. We made, we made a lot of songs. You know, he puts out so much fucking music. I have songs just lost. I've heard, I've heard about the 10 terabytes. He Bro, got. I was actually watching a random uh, Vine clip of the week video on World Star, and I heard one of my beats, and like a girl was like working to it. I'm like, what beat is that? So I shazammed it, and it was a Gucci Man song, and I made the beat. We, I probably, we probably made that shit like five years ago, but it just finally like randomly came out, bro. Yeah, we, I, I, so much. Yeah, Sunny, Sunny Digital actually was the one who introduced me to Gucci, actually. R.I.P. Bankroll Fresh. He definitely inspired me a lot, man. He's one of the coolest, he was one of like the coolest, nicest street artists. Because like most guys, like most dudes from the street, sometimes they're like assholes or whatever, but he was just so ins inspiring like to everybody. Like he was just telling me like, first you gotta do this shit. You have to turn up on these folks, bro. You're too good to hold back. Like, what are you doing? Like, this is just like a regular conversation every time. He's like, yo, turn up on these people, bro. Stop being, stop being so humble. There's nothing wrong with that. Stay down to earth, but work, bro. Don't hold back. Shine on these people, bro. You, have to, you gotta shine, make it look good. Yeah, man. So yeah, I'm always thinking about him, man. I'm always he's he's definitely one of the definitely one of the people I looked up to. Uh, how was that? So you guys have one how many how many tracks on the new EP? Um I'm putting one on the new um EP, but we actually have yeah, we actually have like probably ten unreleased songs. So um so yeah man, we actually had we actually have a lot of footage from like one of the last sessions we had. So it's just it's just a crazy thing. His the day of his funeral was the day we were supposed to shoot the video to the song of the mixtape. It's the cra it's the it's the craziest shit. But yeah man, real inspirational guy. Like it's not that many people who, who can like hang out with T I, Young Jeezy and Gucci and be cool with all three of them and like they actually respect him. Like it's not easy, like you know what I mean? And he was just being him just naturally, so it's really it was senseless, so South of Violence guys. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, bro. Um, and then last one, I mean, we're very familiar with your music, but I just want to get sort of a gauge percentage-wise. How much of that set was produced by you, or you and Sauce, as opposed to... Um, I would, I would say... A lot of it was you, right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of it was. I would yeah. say 50-50, really. 50-50? 50-50. always start off with our, um, with our stuff and usually end with it, but most of the tracks, Watch Out, Fuck You All The Time, um, Sloppy Toppy, Travis Scott. Oh what? yeah, Weezy and Rick Ross. Is that going down? I saw that you mentioned you you, you wanted to work with them. I know you worked with Weezy once, but you said you want to do a collab with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weezy. See, the Weezy. thing with with Weezy, I never worked with him personally. I was Jeremiah got him on Fuck You All the Time, so you know what I mean. We weren't like physically in the studio together, but I know for sure I can bring Lil Wayne back and Rick Ross back if we get together. Like I said, I'm a fan. Anybody I'm a fan of, I know for sure we can make magic because I know. I damn near know what they're thinking. I'm a prophet too, bro. I see the fucking future. What's he thinking? <laughs> what is he thinking? <laughs> he's thinking about beer, this interview, and who he's gonna have sex with tonight. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to figure it all out right now. But yeah. All right, man. I think I think that's all I got for you. <laughs>